Well, today, Florida's Republican-controlled state Senate has voted to terminate the special district that allows Walt Disney World to effectively govern itself amid the recent dust-up between Governor Ron DeSantis and one of his state's largest taxpayers. Since the late 1960s, Disney World has operated within the Reedy Creek Improvement District. That is a special district that covers ground in two central Florida counties. Jeff Patterson is in Florida with what all of this could mean for the so-called most magical place on Earth. Yes, Ruta Bay, Democrats in Florida are strongly opposed to this, saying taxpayers in Orange and Osceola counties may get saddled with Disney's multi-billion dollar debt. In the Florida State Senate, Democratic Senator Gary Farmer questioned why Governor Ron DeSantis is going after Disney. If it wasn't for the political motivation, wouldn't we have done this in a regular session? Over on the House side, representatives asked if taxpayers would have to pick up the tab for Disney's debt. Will that debt then be passed on to the two counties that are taking over the special district responsibilities? That debt is estimated between one and two billion dollars. But Democrats had other questions. Who would maintain Disney's network of roads? Who would staff their fire department and inspect their buildings? But the Republican sponsor of the bill in the Senate says this is about putting controls on a company that has operated too long on their own. Remember, the districts that are affected have not had any legislative oversight in over 50 years. And some of the districts have incredibly sweeping powers, such that a single company could start construction on a nuclear reactor. The authority to build a nuclear power plant. They never did that. It might have seemed like a good idea in the 60s, but even if they did now, it would come under federal regulation, and that's not likely to happen. Ruta Bank. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.